Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Lancaster County uh, Board of Commissioners uh, board meeting for Tuesday, June 27th. Uh, for introduction purposes, uh, my name is Todd Wilchin. I am the, the chair of the county board. Um, on my left, uh, fellow Commissioner uh, Deb Shore, and on my right, um, Commissioner Jennifer Brinkman. Uh, Commissioners Rome Amundsen and um, Bill Avery are uh, out of town today. Um, also joining us today from the county attorney's office momentarily will be Ryan Schwar Schwarkoff uh, from the county clerk's office. We have the county clerk, Mr. Dan Nolte uh, and Kelly Lundgren. Um, our chief administrative officer, Kerry Egan, will also be joining us momentarily. Um, and Ann Ames, our um, deputy chief administrative officer, is with us this morning. Um, so if you'd please now stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you'd please start the agenda. The copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's, at today's open meeting is available, is available from the county clerk staff. Material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one or minutes. Approval minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held last Tuesday, June 20th. Any corrections or discussion? Hearing none, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Uh, next is approval of the minutes of the Board of Commissioners uh, Department budget hearing held on Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the Board of Commissioners Department budget hearing meeting held last Tuesday, June 20th. Um, any discussion or corrections? Uh, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number two are claims, approval of all claims process through June 27th, 2017. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve all claims process through June 27th. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Next is number three, a special presentation. This is Commissioner's Award of Excellence, uh, the May winner, who is Richard Bush from the County City Property Management in a category of productivity. And I do have a the nomination here that I'll go ahead and read. Done. Richard Bush has been selected as the Commissioner's Award of Excellence winner for May 2017. Richard works as a maintenance repair worker too and began working for the county on February 13, 2006. He was nominated by Troy Hawk, Clerk of the District Court, in the category of productivity. In his nomination, Mr. Hawk states, over the years of my tenure as Clerk of the District Court, this office has made many requests of property management for assistance and reworking workspaces, moving shelving and furniture components, as well as filing cabinets for the purpose of improving office efficiency and comfort of the clerk's employees. Our projects have been varied. Richard has always been accommodating to what he has been assigned, taking into consideration our needs along with the complexity of the assigned job. Richard listens carefully, is knowledgeable, and has made suggestions which have been, which have been valuable in accomplishing what we have wished to achieve. This has resulted in Richard completing a task efficiently with minimal, dis with minimal disruption to our staff and our work requirements. Richard comes to the office prepared with the tools that he needs, a positive and can-do attitude, and has consistently given attention to detail. Mr. Hawk continues, recently the records division in the office of the clerk of the district court was remodeled due to the aging record keeping equipment and other needs. A design firm and construction contractor were hired to carry out the remodel. Upon completion of the project, there was additional work to complete the replacement of various furniture components as required by the records division staff. Richard's expertise for adding and moving the necessary components was accomplished with minimal intrusion to the workings of the division. 
In conclusion, Mr. Hawk states, Richard is polite, cheerful, and respectful of the busy nature of this office. For these reasons, we're pleased to award Richard Bush with the Commissioner's Award of Excellence for the month of May 2017. I think it's telling that you were nominated by somebody from a different department. I think we all appreciate the people we work with every day. And so, Troy, thank you for making the nomination. I think that's wonderful. And thanks for your work. Sure. Congratulations. Oh, Richard, come on back. No. <laughs> uh, if you want to um, respond in any way or uh, to the award, that would be your time. Thank you. It's nice to be recognized. Well, and while, while that uh, nomination was written by Troy, it could have been written by any uh, department or elected official in any of these buildings. And you really are a, a joy to work with and a pleasure to have as part of our team. Yeah, thank you so much. Next is recognition of Roger Forsgren, Steve Slapnica, Corey McQuishan, Jim Coma, Keith Tanholson, Bob Larson, Curtis Bacorny, Jared Johnson, Eric Hunt, and Jeff Mansky for the performance at the Winter Maintenance Workshop in Grand Island on May 10th and 11th, 2017. Good morning, Pam Dingman, Lancaster County Engineer. Guys, if you wanted to come on up. Um, this morning I am joined by um, Angela Zokel, uh, Ron Bohati, and Bob Jacobs from Lancaster County Engineering. So, uh, you guys are aware for about three or four years now, we have participated in the 2017 statewide winter maintenance workshop. And a couple years ago, we started um, acknowledging who were the Lancaster County first place winners. And so um, today, I would like to acknowledge first, as a second, first and second place winners, I would like to acknowledge first for the snowplow trucks at the uh, winter maintenance conference, Second place for Lancaster County, Corey and Jim. <laughs> Corey and Jim are both new to Lancaster County. Um, I don't think, you, have you guys had your one year anniversary yet? Not yet. Not yet. So Not yet. congratulations. This is a really big deal. And then first place on the plow trucks for uh, Lancaster County, Roger Forsgren and Steve Slapnicka. And Steve told me two years ago that he was going to win this thing, and so um, he, uh, he, he's still striving to, to win it, uh, but he did win it for Lancaster County, so this is really exciting. And just a little note about the, the plow trucks when we're competing with them statewide. We're competing with, like, Omaha and Sarpy County, who really run these plow trucks in a very urbanized situation, and so um, we're parallel parking. Uh, we're backing up, and if you take too long or if you hit an object, uh, your points are, are taken away. And then in addition to that, you also have to take a written test, and you have to do a um, test on uh, walking around your equipment, and, and the equipment is tampered with, so it has several safety violations. You have to find these violations, so it's a, it's a three-part test. Um, on the backhoe, second place for Lancaster County is Bob Larson. First place was uh, Keith Tennyson. <laughs> As we're separated by just a couple points. So on the front end loader, we had Corey again. Okay. It's all on one certificate, so we'll just give you the okay. <laughs> And first place, Jeff Mansky. All right. Way to lead by example, Jeff. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, on the skid loader, Jared Johnson, second place. <laughs> also been with us for less than a year, so this is really super exciting. And first place, uh, Curtis Perconi. <laughs> the motor grader, we have um, Eric Hunt who you may recall won first place last year statewide. Um, Eric was at a little bit of a disadvantage because the rules say if you were the winner last year, you have to go first the next year. So 
Um, sometimes you have the advantage of watching the other guys do it, kind of figuring it out a little bit. Uh, Eric didn't have that advantage, but uh, he, still, he still finished uh, second over, overall, actually. And first place um, goes to Bob Larson. And so Bob already... <laughs> In addition to having a number of Lancaster County winners here, and um, I'd like to say that I don't make this a mandatory activity, um, so these guys volunteered to go out and take this training and compete uh, against their peers statewide, and I really I super appreciate that, and we do have a good time when we go out there, and I think everybody learns a lot of things. Um, there's a big emphasis on safety and safe practice when we're out there. But I'm really proud this year to have not one state winner, but two state winners. And so um, I invited uh, LTAP to come uh, today. And uh, as you guys know, that's the Nebraska local projects, right? So we have, um, we have uh, Melissa Townstead and Phyllis uh, Squab here today. And I think I just butchered your name, Phyllis. I'll, I'll apologize for that. Um, they work with LTAP, and what I'd like to say is uh, Ron Bohati also volunteers with LTAP to help put this event together, uh, and, it, and it's, a, it's a really big deal for all of our operators statewide. And so we today would like to present um, to our winners um, Eric, or Bob Larson, if you'd like to come forward. Uh, the winners statewide actually get their name on the traveling plaque, so this is a big deal. And so Bob was the winner of the uh, motor grader competition. It's super, super exciting this year. And then our second winner um, overall was uh, Curtis. So Curtis won the skid loader this year, and it was, it, was a, it was a dead fight. Let me tell you how close this was. So Curtis and the number two tied on the uh, mechanical safety inspection of the equipment. They tied on the te written test. They actually tied on the, the point scale, uh, score for the, uh, for the course. And then Curtis actually won because he was five seconds faster. Oh, so um, it's pretty five cool. Seconds. When we go out there and compete, we compete. It is cool, right? Did you know that? <laughs> um, when we go out there and compete, we're competing against other entities that practice on practice courses before they go. Um, to, to try to win. Uh, we don't have time to do that in Lancaster County. We're practicing in the real world, and so I think that just speaks to how dedicated all of these individuals are. Some of them new employees, some of them very seasoned employees, and I'm, I'm super, super proud of them today. If I could, I would love to get a picture of you guys all together with Pam. Just right at the podium, because I want to put it in the uh, NACO newsletter, recognizing oh, all of our winners. So while you're all here. Short guys up front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Ladies in there, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Over here. I'll do it right. by Steve. Than others. Perfect. <laughs> all right, this, is, this is a statewide honor, so we should celebrate it. Thank you. <laughs> well, and again, thank you all for your work on behalf of Lancaster County um, residents. You do great work, and we're all very um, fortunate to have you guys out there on the roads um, taking care of all of us. So thank you so much. Parallel and parking, a, a snowplow? Is that right? Um, oh, gee whiz. And playing checkers with a backhoe. <laughs> Oh, amazing work that you guys do. Thank you so much. Number four is a public hearing. This is for the proposed sale of property generally located at 2201 South 11th Street in the city of Lincoln, Lancaster County, Nebraska which includes declaring that the property no, no longer serves the county purpose, determining fair market value, and setting the date for sale of the property. Uh, based upon the recommendation of the county attorney, I make a mo motion we cancel the public hearing. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second um, to uh, cancel the public hearing. Uh, any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number five is new business 
5A as a resolution regarding the proposed sale of property generally located at 2201 South 11th Street in the city of Lincoln, Lancaster County, Nebraska, which includes declaring that the property no longer serves a county purpose, determining a fair market value, and setting the date for sale of the property. Um, we're going to go ahead and hold this, this item, Mr. Clerk. Okay. Um, please continue with the next uh, agenda item. 5B is a special event permit application from the Nebraska Sports Council for the following events. Cornhusker State Games Adventure Race on Saturday, July 15, 2017. Cornhusker State Games Cycling Tour on Saturday, July 23, 2017. And Cornhusker State Games Gravel Grinder on Saturday, July 29, 2017. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. So, uh, I'm Dave Menerick, Executive Director of the Nebraska Sports Council. Scott Ash, our Director of Operations, is here. And Brandon Holscher, where's he at? Our Director of Events, uh, who worked on the permits specifically with the Volunteer Sport Directors, and two of them are here today. Jason Saboran, the Director of the Gravel Grinder, and Glenn Trout, Director of Adventure Race. They can answer any questions uh, about the specifics of the permit and the events themselves. The Cornhusker State Games begin July 21st, and they run through the 30th of July for most of the events. We have a few events outside of that window. Uh, but this is the 33rd annual, and we're on pace to, to get to 12,000 participants this year. Uh, the final deadline to register for most of these events is next Wednesday, July 5th. So we're excited. We have a, a, a big event planned again, and opening ceremonies on July 21st will kick it all off, and these events are important to that whole whole scheme. So we appreciate the opportunity to to be here and to, you know, have per, seek permission to, to use the, the county roads and byways. Yeah. Well, I, I think this would be a good opportunity just to tell a little bit about the three events, just kind of just briefly summarize the, the public. Sorry. Hi, Glenn Trout with uh, Adventure Race. Uh, the Adventure Race has two components, a family component, which we have teams of uh, two and four in there. Most of that's going to take place within the city of Lincoln, but then there is a sport component to it with teams of two that will go outside the city of Lincoln, be stretched out to uh, Yankee Hill area, and that'll take about four to six hours to be going through city of Lincoln parks, uh, Lancaster County roads, state parks. Cycling tour. Or I can speak on behalf of the cycling I'll tour. Go. Here. Yeah. Uh, the cycling tour is basically a non competitive uh, ride through the county. Um, we have a 25 mile, a 50 mile, and a 100 mile ride. Uh, like I said, it's non competitive, there's no racing going on. Um, we do go into Seward and Butler counties as well. Um, and that uh, takes place on what, Saturday, July 29th? Uh, or Sunday, July, like, oh, my dates here. straight here. here, I got it in front of me. I think that one's on the 23rd. 23rd, correct. So anyway, that, that starts the Fallbrook area, and we'll head towards Seward and the Branch Oak areas, uh, and then return, um, depending on the mileage, uh, one to two to three hours. Excellent. Jason Saborn, I do the, the grapple grinder race. It's... Gravel Grinder is basically a, a road bike race, but it's on the gravel roads out in the county. And we're starting at about 56 in Pine Lake, the Village Gardens area. And heading out of town, going through Roca, through Milford and around Crete, and then back through Roca and back to Lincoln. And we have routes of about 100 miles, 60 miles, and about 30 miles. And although it is a, a race, it's timed most of the riders are just trying to finish because of the distances they're just challenging themselves but there are a few people who are in it for the race so but it's a good competition can you tell me if our chief administrative officer has signed up for any of these bicycling events because he's kind of a fanatic <laughs> not this year <laughs> well, th these are great uh, events for the lancaster county and for the city of lincoln and also for the entire state um, so on behalf of the county, I want to thank you all for the hard work you do. I know the, the Cornhusker State Games are um, rather large events to, to schedule and to organize. And so I know you work year-round to make it a successful event. So we, we very much appreciate it.
Are there any questions, I guess? I will move approval of the three special event permit applications. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the three special event permit applications from the Nebraska Sports Council. Um, any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. We'll see you at opening Thanks. ceremonies. Thanks. Five C's and amendment of interlocal cooperation agreement county grant contract C-15-552 between the city of Lincoln and Lancaster County to provide Lancaster County visitors improvement funding for the city's prairie corridor on Haynes Branch. The amendment extends a contract for an additional one year period from July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. Lancaster County will pay the city of Lincoln $30,000 for the additional one year period. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend the interlocal cooperative agreement um, and county contract with the city of Lincoln for the city's prairie corridor on Haynes Branch. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. D, your agreements with the following individuals to provide referee services to hear evaluation protests for the 2017 tax year and to transmit information to the Lancaster County Board of Equalization. Um, this is John Werdemann at the rate of $75 per hour and Greg Heinzman at the rate of $55 per hour. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, enter into agreement with individuals to provide referee services to hear evaluation protests. Um, any discussion? Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. E is a quote from Cummins Allison in the amount of $3,137 to purchase a currency scanner, impact printer, and related accessories for the county sheriff's office. The vendor will provide service on a time and material basis. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, to approve the quote from Cummins Allison um, for the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. F is an amendment to kind of contract C-17-209 with Dr. Zakara Sitakwu to provide psychiatric services at the Mental Health Crisis Center. The amendment extends the contract from July 1st, 2017 to June 30th, 2018 and increases the rate of pay to $725 for 24-hour period of coverage. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend the county contract with Dr. Zakaria Saduku um, to provide psychiatric services at the Mental Health Crisis Center. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. G is an agreement with the Child Guidance Center for Internal Case Management Services at the Youth Services Center. The county will pay up to $67,459.83 for the services. Term of the agreement is July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. Good morning, Ms. Hood. Good morning, Melissa Hood Youth Services Center. Uh, this is just a renewal for us. It's for case management mental health services through the day um, we have another contract with blue valley that provides them in the evening so this is just a continuing contract we just came up if you had any questions move approval second okay we have a motion and a second to uh, approve the agreement with the child guidance center for internal case management services at the youth services center any discussion please call the room shore yes brinkman yes Wilton. Yes. Motion carries three to zero. H is an interlocal agreement with Howard County for the safekeeping, care, and sustenance of Howard County's pre-adjudicated pre juveniles at the Youth Services Center. Lancaster County will be reimbursed at the rate of $276 per juvenile per day. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to, enter, to approve the interlocal agreement with Howard County um, for uh, the Youth Services Center for pre-adjudicated pre juveniles. Um, any discussion? Um, I will just make a note that I will be uh, voting no on this um, 
we discussed this at a staff meeting a few weeks ago. Um, we've established that the true cost of detention is 307 a day, um, and I, I just don't um, can, don't believe I can justify it to the county taxpayers that we subsidize other counties um, for housing juvenile youth in our county. So, uh, with that, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Brinkman. Yes. Shore. Yes. Wilson. No. Motion carries two yes, one no. Five eyes an interlocal agreement with Red Willow County for the safekeeping, care, and sustenance of Red Willow County's pre adjudicated juveniles at the Youth Services Center. Lancaster County will be reimbursed at the rate of $276 per juvenile per day. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the interlocal agreement with Red Willow County uh, for safekeeping, care, and sustenance of Red Willow County's pre-adjudicated juveniles at the Youth Services Center. Um, any discussion? Um, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilton? No. Motion carries two yes, one no. 5J is a contract between the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, Division of Children and Family Services in Lancaster County for the Lancaster Youth Services Center for the provision of juvenile detention services for juveniles committed to or placed with DHHS. The county shall receive a per diem rate of $307 per day, not to exceed $10,000. Term of the contract is July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, uh, enter the contract with Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services. Um, for Lancaster County Youth Services Center for detention services um, for juveniles committed to or placed with a HHS. Any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. K is a resolution adopting an agreement between the State of Nebraska Department of Roads and Lancaster County for the Denton Spur Project, for the Denton Spur Project detour. Welcome back, Ms. Dingman. Thank you. Pam Dingman, Lancaster County Engineer. I'm also returning your pen. Um, we've talked about this in staff meeting about three or four weeks ago, and somehow it was delayed getting on your agenda. Um, and this, as you may recall, is the detour route the state is taking. They need to replace a uh, box culvert that is on the spur. And so they are going to detour um, on Denton Road in our jurisdiction and then up 77 and around this structure while they're um, modifying it. And so they need this agreement from us. Uh, as standard in their agreement, they take responsibility for any damage done to the road during the uh, time of the detour. Any questions for Ms. Dingman? Commissioner Shore? Just curious how long they think the project will take. I'm not really sure um, with this type of structure uh, how long it will take. I, I, I think it was about a six month time period. Wow, okay. And then uh, my question, I know we talked about it um, at the staff meeting, but because of the area where that's involved, you have a lot of uh, dead end county roads down there. Right. I mean, was there a plan that the state was going to be responsible for notifying everybody, or will that be something that the county is responsible for? What, we'll, what we will do is, once we hear from the state that they're going to start their project, we will go ahead and show it on our road closure map. Um, and I just want to remind the public again, we have that map. It is on the, um, the city county website at the bottom of the web page. It says street closures. If you click on it, it will show you all closures and also with the reason why the road is closed um, in all of Lancaster County. And so we, uh, we, can, we can do that for our residents, yes. Any other questions? Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, approve the agreement with the State of Nebraska Department of Roads um, for the Denton Spur Project Detour. Um, any additional discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. L is a recommendation from the purchasing department and the county engineer to award a contract of Midwest pump and equipment for a 1,000 gallon above ground fuel tank and monitoring system. The total amount is $23,209.
Pam Damien, Lancaster County Engineers. So this is for the um, installation of an unleaded fuel tank in the Raymond area that will allow us to fuel our trucks as well as the sheriff's uh, vehicles from the Raymond location and a monitoring system to go along with it. Um, it was an expense that we had budgeted for in our current budget. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, approve the contract with Midwest Pump and Equipment um, for an above ground fuel tank and monitoring system. Any discussion? Pam, when you say Raymond location, is that the same place where we have the rock piles that are now fenced or is it a different location? It is associated with the building there. Okay. So it will meet the, the uh, code and parameters to be, to be by the building. Thanks. Okay, any other discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Shore. Yes. Brinkman. Yes. Wiltron. Yes. Motion carries three to zero. M is a contract between Gana Trucking and Excavating in Lancaster County on behalf of the Lancaster County Engineer's Office for erosion control at three locations in Lancaster County. The cost of county is $271,106.45. Work is to be completed on or before November 10th, 2017. Pam Damon, Lancaster County Engineer. So you have previously awarded this, this contract um, and or previously sent the notice of award for this contract and now you're approving the contract itself. Uh, as you may recall, this is the contract for bridge H66 um, uh, at approximately 112th and Elvo, uh, D88 uh, on Agnew Road just east of Highway 79 and Rock Creek, the road itself, that's had some um, problems with an adjacent uh, drainage, uh, drainage, I guess, ditch, for lack of a better word, or tributary, and that is located on the west side of Highway 79 on Rock Creek Road. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the contract with Gaina Trucking and Excavating for erosion control at three locations in Lancaster County. Any discussion? Commissioner I just Brinkman. had a question about the Rock Creek um, work. I got mm -hmm. to drive along Rock Creek this mm -hmm. morning to take a look at it, and we have a nice little warning light there on the side. So, is the issue that drainage is coming over the road, or what are the, or is it so eroding um, the asphalt? What is happening? You know, uh, Commissioner Brinkman, you and Commissioner Wilchin have the joy in your districts. For whatever reason, we have some um, large drainage tributaries that run exactly adjacent to the mm -hmm. road. And, uh, and it creates some interesting problems for us, especially with all the rains we've had the last several years. And so what's happened with Rock Creek is that drainage tributary comes, um, it, I mean, it just goes right, right adjacent to that road and it has gotten very deep. Um, the farmer there uh, put hay bales in the bottom of it if you got out of your car and looked at it. So, I mean, it, and it really just needs to be stabilized in order to protect the road. Um, we do have, Actually, for all three of these projects, our Army Corps of Engineers permits in, and they are the emergency permits because um, I'm trying to get them as quickly as I can so that we can fix and stabilize. Um, in the case of Rock Creek, the road, in the case of D88, uh, the bridge, and I might add again, and in the case of H66, the bridge, and I'll add again there too. So, Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. We have a motion and a second. Um, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Five N are amendments to the following contracts for the annual service of services of used oil collection services. The amendments renew the contracts from July 12th, 2017 through July through July 11th, 2018. And this is for County Contract C-16. Dash 350 with Jebro Incorporated in an amount not to exceed $1,000. And County Contract C-16-349 with TSO in an amount not to exceed $1,500. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend uh, contracts for the annual services of used oil collection services. Uh, any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. O is an amendment to county contract C-13-341 with Allen Gibbs and Hulick LLC for the annual requirements of auditing services for all Lancaster County funds, officers, and the Lincoln-Lancaster County Public Building Commission. 
The amendment renews the contract from July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. The cost of the county is not to exceed $74,825. Good morning, Mr. Meyer. All right, good morning. Dennis Meyer, County Budget and Fiscal Director. This, uh, this amendment to this contract really is for the audit services for Lancaster County. It includes an audit for the Crisis Center. It includes uh, an audit for the Lancaster County Correctional Facility Joint Public Agency and Lancaster County itself. Um, the wording of the Public Building Commission is kind of brought in there too. What we did back in 13 is we went through an RFP process and we always have the PBC kind of piggyback on there with us. So that's kind of why some of their wording is in there. Um, the PBC does pay for their portion of the audit. Um, so through that RFP, um, we awarded a three-year contract plus three additional one-year contracts. And so this one here will be the second of the additional one. So we will have this one, one more, and then we'll go back out to the RFP process. Uh, the, the cost on this contract is at a 2.5% increase um, from last year. That was kind of set up as we went through the RFP process and the additional three one or additional three one year contracts. Any questions for Mr. Meyer? Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend the contract with Allen. Gibbs and Holick LLC, sorry, LC, for the annual requirements of auditing services. Um, any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 5P is an amendment to county contract C 14 234 with Nebraska Lab Link for the annual requirements of city county blood chemistry profiles. The amendment signs a contract for Nebraska Lab Link to Lab Corp. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend the county contract with Nebraska Lab Link for the annual requirements of the city county blood chemistry profiles. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Q or amendments to the following contracts for the annual supply of county corrections uniform accessories. The amendments extend the contracts for an additional three month term beginning June 25, 2017 through September 25, 2017. And this is for county contract C 13 273 with Lawman's and Shooter Supply Inc. The cost of county with the price increase will remain the same at $11,000. County contract C 13 272 with the Gulls. The cost of county shall not exceed $6,000. $900. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend um, <laughs> contracts for the annual supply of county corrections uniform accessories. Uh, any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Our amendments to the following contracts for the annual supply of correction clothing for guards and maintenance staff. The amendments extend the contracts for an additional three-month term beginning July 16, 2017 through October, through October 15, 2017. And this is for county, con county contract C-13-314 with Air America Uniform Services. The cost of county with a price increase will remain the same at $300. County contract C-13-315 with goals. The cost of county with a price increase will remain at $15,000. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend the contracts for the annual supply of correction clothing for guards and maintenance staff. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 5S are amendments to the following contracts for the annual requirements of poly patch applicator rental and mastic paved patch. The amendments extend the contracts from July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. And this includes county contract C-14-328 with Logan Contractor Supply, Inc. The cost of the county is not to exceed $7,600. And county, county contract C-14-329 with Wright Point Company. The cost of county is not to exceed $18,200. Move approval. Second. OK, 
Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend um, the following, or excuse me, contracts for the annual requirements for poly patch applicator rental and massive paved patch. Any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 5T is a contract with People's Health Center to provide Lancaster County General Assistance clients with primary medical care. The term of the contract is July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. The cost of the county is not to exceed $368,107. Good morning, Ms. Good morning, Lyle. Sarah with Lincoln Lancaster Human Services. And with me this morning, I have um, Shirley Terry with Health360, Linda Becker with Health360, and then Joan Anderson with the Medical Society. And <laughs> <laughs> and this contract basically uh, transfers the primary care of general assistance clients from the health department over to People's Health Center. It includes primary care and then emergency dental services as well. And Joan has been involved a lot since the beginning. Well, since Commissioner Shore was in charge. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this this a started ten, 10 years ago with the uh, mayor's. Three actually. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you want me to. Uh, well, thank you. And of course, all the commissioners know about this, but historically, in 2003, actually when the Community Health Endowment was uh, started around that time, the general assistance was helped out tremendously by getting medication assistance. We went from like 180,000 a month down to 50, down to 30, now we're right around 25,000 a month. I know it's gonna be much less when we go to People's Health Center because we can leverage some usage of their federally qualified health dollars. Um, so I just want to compliment the, the health department for being very, willing to do this until uh, the federally qualified health center was in place. And now under uh, Linda and Shirley and Sarah, who's done a remarkable job, this is going to be the first time you've had general assistance on a basically a cost per patient, where before you had to play, pay a fat, flat fee. Um, so I think you'll see some savings. Care will be as always very uh, highly professional because Sarah's already gotten the contracts with all of the offices, specialty offices, and I've been contacted about a number of them asking, are we supposed to sign this? I don't think I told you that. And I said, yes, you should sign it. It doesn't mean anything different other than it's coming from Health360. So I'm really excited about it, and I know the GA Monitoring Committee will be watching it and uh, Linda Becker will be kind of the coordinator. She's just been here less than a month, or about a month, and, um, oh, two months. Well, then you know everything. Okay, <laughs> so uh, very experienced, Arian. I, I'm just thrilled, but again, we can't slight what the health department has done for us over all these years, because without them, we would not have been able to serve these clients. So I'm excited. I think it'll be great. Well, and part of the reason, I'm sorry, for the initiative, of course, is the whole medical home concept. So yes. I'll let you talk about that. Yes. Um, sure. Um, well, one of the biggest issues, and Sarah's right, when it started with the mayor's uh, uh, safety net conversation many years ago, I can't remember when that was. I can only gauge things by grand grandkids' ages, and I didn't mark that one in my memory bank. But um, the problem with the GA as it is now is a patient's off GA, they're on GA, they go to either People's Health Center when they're off GA, then they go to the health department, and then they have to go to another location back to People's Health Center, or maybe they're on Medicaid. This way, the medical home, if they choose to, but they do have choices, they will be established at Health360. They can stay at Health360 if they're off GA for two or three months, which sometimes happens. They still have the same provider. They are just paying the copay rather than the county. And then ultimately, when they find that they're either on Medicaid or they find a job or whatever the reason is that they're off GA, they still have that medical home as an option. So yeah, it's a great option. Well, and I think it's important to note that it's a continuum of care Yes. And you have better health outcomes for the patients. And it actually, it, that process also benefits taxpayers because you have, again, better health outcomes. Absolutely. That, that, that actually cost less Absolutely. Over, over time. I would be, though, I, again, I just have to compliment the health department for handling, for 
the continuity is essential, but they did the best job they could while they had the patients. But now if you have a diagnosed diabetic and they start at GA, and now they have to transition someplace else, they have all that continuity. You're absolutely right. And that will absolutely not only save the taxpayers money, which is you know, one of the major things, but much better uh, outcomes for the patient. They're going to be much healthier and in many cases more productive, can go back to work and all of those things. So, well, And it, and it is a better model of, of health care delivery. Yes. yes. And I think, again, Sarah, but also your staff, um, Ms. Anderson, and the staff at Health 360, the People's uh, Health Center, as well as Lutheran Family Services, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, the, the, pu- the public health department. Right. Everyone um, for the last you know, 15 years has really worked hard, and this is, a, I think, a, a good right. example of how we collaborate here in Lincoln and Lancaster County. Right. Absolutely. And the transition, uh, think about it, a group that have been handling this for 10 15 years, now they're helping transition their patients to another location, and they've been as gracious as could be to make that happen, and I think over the next few months, that transition will, um, you know, it won't go without bumps, because we're all humans, and we're dealing with patients that may show up at the health department, because they forget that they're supposed to go to Health 360, Um, but the communication will be key, and I think everybody's been on the ground floor, and Mr. Egan is very excited because uh, it means less work for him. <laughs> is that not right? Well, <laughs> Jinx, I've had very few appeals. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Good. Yeah, so Sarah needs a lot of kudos on this. Oh. So I think it'll be Agreed. great. Agreed. You can officially retire, Commissioner Short, now that you've made this <laughs> you and I, You and I can do it at the same there time. There you go. <laughs> Ryan Swaroff, Deputy County Attorney. It's my understanding we're just waiting on the professional liability insurance um, confirmation still, so if you just make it contingent upon receipt of that. Okay. I will move approval based upon the receipt of the certificate of insurance. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the contract with the People's Health Center um, to provide Lancaster County General Assistance clients primary medical care um, contingent on the certificate of insurance being provided. Any additional discussion? Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Thank you for being here. Thank you. 5U is a grant contract with Cedars Youth Services in the amount of $242,225 for the emergency shelter program. The contract is funded by the Joint Budget Committee for the period of July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. This contract provides for emergency shelter for youth who are homeless or at risk of being homeless or those youth coming out of the detention facility. We also have in the contract too that this funding will allow for additional shelter beds at the emergency shelter location. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the grant contract with Cedar Youth Services for the emergency shelter program. Any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wiltron? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. V is a grant contract with Cedars Youth Services in the amount of $20,000 for the tracker program through the Nebraska Commission on Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice Juvenile Services Aid Grant. Term of the grant contract is July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. And this contract provides a tracker for our pre-adjudicated youth. Those are the youth that would otherwise be in detention, but they're supervised by our staff with an electronic monitor usually. The tracker helps follow up with the youth, helps um, make sure that the youth is in school, helps with uh, family, with the, do, providing an individualized plan for them, and then also helps with supervising them in the community, uh, making sure that they're at various locations that they're supposed to be at. Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the grant contract with Cedar Youth Services for the tracker program. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Next is number six, consent items. Right away contracts between Lancaster County and the following. Richard and Geraldine Benish, co-trustees, Northwest 40th Street and West Agnew Road in the amount of $2,282.50. 
North Bluff Com- Com- Commodities, Inc., North 40th Street and Bluff Road, in the amount of $1,675. Thomas and Louise Pavey, Live Estate, North 1st Street and Raymond Road, in the total amount of $6,707.75, and this is for two contracts. Utility permit number 1561, allowing one stream hosted solution LLC to re- relocate 530 linear feet of underground cable on West Denton Road as part of bridge N138 construction. There is no cost to the county. Receive in place on file the following report for May 2017, and this is for the county sheriff. Move approval of the consent items. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the consent items. Any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries three to, three to zero. Next is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business and on the agenda may do so at this time. Is there anyone from the public here to speak? Yeah. Mr. Next, Clark, please continue the agenda. Next is announcements. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, June 29, 2017 at 8.30 a.m. in the Bill Luxford studio of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will not hold a meeting on Tuesday, July 4th, 2017. The next regular meeting will be held on Tuesday, July 11th, 2017 at 9 a.m. in Room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Equalization meeting immediately following. County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commission at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live. It is rebroadcast on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays on 5 City TV, cable channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under 5 City TV video on demand or 5 City TV on YouTube. I move we adjourn. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to adjourn. Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Okay, that concludes the Board of Commissioners meeting. Have a good day.